Hey guys, I'm David and welcome to the channel and today I have another Demon Slayer figure to review for you guys and this time it's the Banpresto DXF of Ren Goku. So a few days back I made a poll in YouTube on what do you guys want to see us uh, review next. So first there was, uh, I, I asked you guys to pick uh, what brand so that was Banpresto, I think Nendoroid and uh, Funko. So that one, uh, the winner was I think Ban Presto. And the second one was when which anime they wanna see. So I made the Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, and Naruto. So it was a close fight between My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer. So Demon Slayer won. So I just reviewed the Ren Goku Vibration Stars a few days back. So anyway, this is the DXF version now. Come and join me and let's see what Ren Goku looks like in his DXF version. So let's unbox the figure. Okay, see, let's take a look at the box first. So, you can see it's the normal DXF figure uh, in a reddish design here. You can see the photo of Ren Goku. Of course, the, the usual logos here Bandai, Band Presto. The other side shows another photo of him. The back, another photo of Ren Goku. Okay, so this comes in two set in a set. Figure A is actually Shinobu, and this is the Sepia version, which I did not get. And the figure B is Ren Goku, and this is him at the back, at the front again. And this is the top and the bottom. So let's open the figure. How awesome this figure is. I really love the vibration stars figure of Ren Goku. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Okay, got the body with some. Hmm. It has, uh, it's protecting the sword. So let's see. There you go. Ooh, still looks good. It's a bit bent though. This is what we get from the box. So let's put him all together. So this is very straightforward. All you have to do is put the head of Ren Goku. And finally, we can actually pose him without the base because the peg is not on his feet. So see, I know it's doable. Ban Presto or Bandai. Okay, there you go. Okay, fits well. So there you go, looks really good. So let's take a closer look at the figure. Okay, so this is the DXF figure of Rain Goku. And let's measure him first before we take a closer look at the figure. So he stands at around 7 inches or 20 centimeters from the base to the head. It's a pretty standard size for this figure and my first impressions are that it looks really good so let's see let's take a look at the head first okay they really captured his image from the anime looks really nice uh, very cleanly done here just like the vibration star so I like the scalp of his hair and they painted it well actually. And his in this just standing pose here. So he's wearing his uh, demon core uniform here. But mine, his sword is a bit bent. So I'm not sure what happened here. But you actually won't be noticing it if it's just uh, standing like that. They also incorporated that nice um pattern on the on the sheath of the sword with the gold tip here of course his cape looks really nice they use that gradient uh paint there with a flame on the bottom and of course his legs have that flame uh pattern too with his red sandals uh what they call that strap and uh yeah he looks very nice 
So as a quick comparison, I'm going to bring out his fellow Hashiras. So we have Giyu and Kocho. And they look really nice together and they scale very well. So there you go. You can actually take Rengoku out of this base and put the two together. And there you go. It looks very nice. He's actually the tallest among the three. So let's let me Yeah. There you go. It looks very good. They they will look fantastic on your shelf. And I just wish that all of them didn't have that peg on the feet. So I don't know why they just started it with Rengoku here. Yeah, I'll just put him on the base again. So overall, this is one amazing figure. Ban Presto captured Rengoku's image from the anime very well. Of course, this is a DXF figure, so you're just going to expect him to be just on a standing post, as always. Uh, from this line. They included all the amazing details of his costume. I really love the scalp of his hair, the paint on his cape, and of course the nice uh, details of his sword. But mine is a little bit bent, but that's, but that's okay. That's a minor issue from my figure. So that's probably just on my figure. So you don't have to worry about that. And uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Demon Slayer and you're looking to get a Rengoku figure, I highly recommend checking this out. I got this figure at Mainstream Manila, so thank you very much Mainstream Manila for this figure. I'll put the link down in the description box on how you can get this amazing figure. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm David once again, and always remember to unbox your toys.